researched many aspects of entrepreneurship, uh, but over the last few years, I've been looking in particular at business failure. I get asked a lot, I get asked quite often, why would you look at business failure? Is that not very negative? Is it not very depressing? Um, and that's, you know, that's a good question. Um, but I take a wider perspective when I'm looking at this. So we know that entrepreneurship is hugely beneficial for a healthy economy and society. Okay, it contributes significantly to our GDP, to our employment rate. Um, and entrepreneurs and small business owners are really the backbone or considered the backbone or the engine of many economies. Okay. However, there are many deterrents to entrepreneurial activity. Okay. Many reasons people don't want to engage in entrepreneurship. But the biggest reason is business failure. A fear of failure is about 50%, 45 to 50% deterrent for most people actually starting businesses. So therefore, if we, if we don't start to look at what the major block to entrepreneurial activity actually is, long term, we're quite limited in how we can continue to maintain and engage and encourage people to start businesses. So in entrepreneurship, we typically have three levels of analysis, okay? So we look at the individual, the entrepreneur, and we look at what's happening with them. We look at the firm and we see what's happening and what an, an entrepreneurial firm actually looks like. And then we look at the wider ecosystem in which entrepreneurship is unfolding too, okay? So similarly, I've been looking at failure from different angles, from different contexts. So some of my study has, uh, study has focused on um, back at the individual in the context of business failure. So a lot of work actually looks at preventing business failure. And if you look up uh, causes of business failure, you'll find everything from the ultimate one to 50 causes of business failure, okay? So there's a lot of strategy research gone into trying to determine what causes business failure. My work assumes failure has happened and looks at the story after that, okay? So for the individual, I consider, well, what impact has this failure had on the entrepreneur? How are they coping with this? How has it impacted them and their family? How has it impacted the household and their earning potential? Um, how are they learning, with, learning from the event? Have they learned? Then on to what impact that uh, learning has on subsequent businesses. What's the nature of the startup process thereafter as they re-engage in entrepreneurial activity? And then to a wider scale picture of looking at, well, what's the wider infrastructure in the ecosystem for entrepreneurs as they re-engage in entrepreneurial activity? From speaking to entrepreneurs whose businesses have failed, uh, there's a great deal of compassion that's required, okay? So there's, again, there's opposing views on this. There's some that say, throw them out, never let them start again, etc. However, if you hold the perspective that I do, that, that it is possible to learn from the failure experience, um, I think we need to understand individually how that learning process occurs and how it unfolds. So we know that, there's, um, we know that entrepreneurs learn socially and they learn on, on the spot and they learn from role models, etc. However, in the context of business failure, the individuals that are going through the process, there's a huge degree of stigma and shame associated with what they've experienced. So therefore, the social element of learning isn't necessarily there. However, if we can explore, well, what the process actually involves, then we can provide greater support for individuals going through that. Being connected with other individuals who've gone through a similar process can be useful, for example. Providing training for people afterwards, assisting them in overcoming the challenges, financial, emotional, psychological, that they've experienced as a result reacquainting them with entrepreneurial networks, etc. So these are the types of, um, in, types of practices that we're seeing unfold in the private sector. Um, and we're developing agenda for enterprise policy as to how enterprise policies can greater facilitate individuals re-engaging in entrepreneurship. And we've seen, we've seen this trend unfold gradually. So with the European Commission, they've got a, a, a paper on second chance entrepreneurship, okay? And in Ireland, we have started, our own systems have started to accommodate for failure and bankruptcy better as well. Uh, so it's slowly, about slowly trying to change the social perception of failure and address some of the stigmas so that if people do find themselves in that position, that they're experiencing less of the impact that many do at the moment. Thank you.